We are back with another episode of the Appalachian Outlaws Pooling Series. On today's show, we have the Run What You Brung Super Modified and the Small Block High Output Trucks at the Somerset County Fairgrounds. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get into the show. And coming out on the track, this is Mike Lepley with a truck he calls Hostile, coming from Evansburg, Pennsylvania. So right down the road, pulling here at the Somerset County Fairgrounds here tonight. A top running truck in the Run What You Brung class. Looking to make a mark here on the Appalachian Outlaws pulling series for the first time in 2023. He's spooling up. Let's see what he can do here. This is Mike Lepley. And man, what a monster pass put down. We're going to take a look at your replay here in just a moment. 334.69, so getting all the way out there. And man, he got in it quick and was just screaming down the track. Tons of track speed, and man, did it pay off. Getting a monster distance put out there, and that's going to be a tough mark to beat there. A good run put down for him. But next up coming on the track, this is Rob Farrell, a 1950 Ford. He calls this truck Jaded from Clarion, Pennsylvania. A top running truck coming out on the track. And man, they battled a lot of gremlins with this truck over the years, but it's fine tuned, it's ready to go. Already multiple wins so far this season. Let's see if he can make this another one here. He backs into that sled and gets ready to take off here. This is Rob Farrell with Jaded. And he gets it out there good, is it enough? 339.62, gonna be your new leader in the class. And it's really interesting to see this because there's so many different engine combinations, tire combinations, you name it, in this class. That's why they call it Run What You Brung. So he gets out there right with the super stock diesel truck. Takes over the lead with the blow around it. And next up, this is Jake Slingloff, 1941 Dodge body on this truck. He calls it Empty Pockets from Listy, Pennsylvania. Good looking truck coming out here on the line. The second diesel truck of the night. Here's another truck that's just been getting better and better every run down the track so far this summer. So can tonight be the night for him? Distance to beat 339.62. Here he goes. Oh man, and it shuts down at the end, but he was on a roll. 325.33, gonna be good enough for that number three spot so far in the class. And the thing with these diesel trucks, they gotta get that turbo spooled up, get in it quick and keep that thing lit up and going. And he was doing a great job of that, got down the track very quickly, puttered out at the end, but man, had a couple feet left in it, I would say. Would've got him up there a little bit better. But here's another diesel truck coming out on the line, and this is a good running truck here. This is Mike Hearn with Bad Attitude, the 2004 Dodge Ram. This is your 2021 Full Pool Productions champion coming out on the line here. A good looking truck, and man, he is here at his hometown track trying to get the win here. Let's see if he can do it. This is Bad Attitude, Mike Hearn.
And man, he was uh, screaming down through there. Gonna end short though. 319.05. Gonna be the distance for him. So gonna be sitting in that last place position so far. But man, he had a ton of track speed. Got past the 300 foot mark and just puttered out. Didn't have enough to keep on going there. But a good run put down by the bad attitude truck. So, so far, Rob Farrell going to be in the number one spot, 339.62. If anybody's going to take over the lead, it's going to be this guy right here. This is Jerry Berghoff with the Attitude Adjuster Reloaded from West Alexander, Pennsylvania. A good-looking truck, and it runs just as good as it looks. A multi-time points champion with this truck, the 2022 Appalachian Outlaws Super Modified Champion. Here he goes. And gonna be about seven feet shy of the leader at 332.44. Little bit different of a driving style coming out of Jerry here tonight. He creeped into the throttle, had a little bit of bounce towards the middle portion of the track, and that might have affected his distance just a little bit. But finished strong and got up there in the top three. So not a bad run put down by the attitude adjuster. And here's another Berghoff truck here. This is the Attitude Adjuster 2. Brad Berghoff behind the wheel. A top running truck as well. All these trucks are super competitive, super close. All good running trucks. And this is a guy that gets right out in front of the pack more times than not. A good looking truck with that Ford body on it. Let's see what he can do here. And he's going to be back there, 300.68, going to be the distance for him. And he went to the far right side of the track, just rode that white chalk line towards the end, spinning out hard. But man, just seemed like it didn't have a lot of traction there for him. But a good looking run nonetheless, just not quite enough here tonight. And here he is. This is your current points leader. This is Kevin Landis with the Ridge Runner T-Bucket, a good looking truck coming out on the track. Had a win in the first pool this year at Liskey Grove, but he's still the points leader after not really seeing the top three too much since then. But man, this truck just makes a consistent pass every single time down the track, and that's what's got him that number one position right now. So to go into the championship finals, he just needs an A to B pass down the track, and he'll be your points leader. Let's see if he can do it. And spinning out hard at the end, he's going to get stopped. 324.3, going to be the final distance for him. And that truck just never hooked up quite the way he probably wanted it to. A good run at the end there, though, getting him out there. And he's going to solidify that points lead going into the championship finals. So that's going to do it. That's going to do it for this class, at least. Rob Farrell coming out on top here tonight. We'll take a look at his winning run here. This is your winner, Jaded. 1950 Ford with Rob Farrell behind the wheel. So there was your winner, Mike Lepley, going to come out in second place tonight, 334.69, just about five feet away. Jerry Burkhoff, 332.44, that's going to round out your top three. Next up is the small block high output trucks. All right.
right, here's your small block, high output, four wheel drive division. Now these trucks are limited to a 440 cubic inch small block motor, a single naturally aspirated carburetor. They gotta be on a one ton drive line and they can't run any more than a 35 by 12 and a half inch DOT approved tire. So this truck's really limited to what you can run setup wise, what you can run motor wise, and that makes it very competitive. So coming out on the track now, this is John Basinger. 8340 calls it bullheaded. Let's see if he sets a good mark to beat here. Hey, and not a bad run. There's his debut run with the Appalachian Outlaws Pulling Series, 323.38. Gonna be the distance for him. Had a little bit of bounce there in the takeoff portion of the run, but nonetheless, a great run put down and finishes strong. And coming out on the track now, this is one of the top five trucks in the points race so far in 2023. This is Josh Sarver with the Coal Crusher, a 1984 Chevrolet from Freedens, Pennsylvania. Let's see what he can do here, the distance to beat. 323.38. And not a bad run for him. 320.25 seemed like he got it really fast. Might have been running a really fast gear just trying to get the RPMs build up to be able to take off with it. And man, he got down the track pretty quick, pottered out at the end, so missing out on three feet to get in the number one spot. But a great run put down by Josh Sarver there. Next up, Brandon Struble with the Mutiny truck. Let's see what he can do. Oh man, and he is out there. Put about 13 feet on the current leader, 336.12. Gonna be the distance for him here tonight, and that's gonna be your number one spot. So 336.12, gonna be the mark to beat. Man, I think it's gonna be tough. He is out there. But we still got a lot of good running trucks left to go, and here's one of them. This is Jim Basinger with High Noon. Acme, Pennsylvania native with the 1985 Chevy, the number two truck in the points race. Let's see what he can do. And man, I think he did it. 341.57, gonna be the distance, and there's your new leader fans. Just cruising down the track, had a really consistent RPM going down the track. Didn't hear too much tone in the engine change, and he just towed on down through there, sucking out a power at the end, gave it all she had, and gonna be good enough to take over the lead. Next up, this is Brian Struble, your Lebanon, Pennsylvania winner just a couple weeks ago. Let's see if he can get it again here tonight. And he's going to do it, 342.8. And if you look at the run, you never would guess that that's going to be good enough to take over the lead. Had a ton of bounce going down the track. Just never got that thing straightened out, but it was good enough to do it. There's your number one truck so far. And next up is your number one truck in the points race, your 2022 points champion. This is Jason Garris, a 1970 Chevy. Let's see if he can solidify this number one spot yet again, going into the championship finals. Green lights on the sled, it's his time to go.
And man, these guys are giving it all she got. 345.98, gonna be your new leader. And I feel like everybody's just seeing the distances go up and up. And they're up in their gear to try to contribute to that long track. And just giving it all she had. He puttered out at the end. Gonna be good enough to take over the number one spot. Here he is, this is Brett Kalanovic, money for nothing from Indiana, Pennsylvania. He's having a great 2023 season. He was right up there with the leader at Lebanon a couple weeks ago. So let's see if he can get his first win here on the Appalachian Outlaws pulling circuit. Distance to beat, 345.98. Here he goes. And not a bad run put down for Brett Kalonovich. Now, he actually went down the right side of the track towards the end of this run. As soon as he got the clutch out, he started clearing off towards the right side of the track. What a fun driving style to watch. He just revs that thing up, gives it the beans, and lets her eat. 314.32, so going to be out of the pack here tonight. But if you've been paying attention to this team here in the 2023 season, this truck is just running better and better every time down the track. And they're getting closer and closer to taking over a good position here in this class. So good looking dodge there, and he's getting better and better. Going to be interesting to see how he does at the finals in a couple weeks. But that's going to do it. Jason Garris, here's your winner on the screen. Here's your results for tonight. Jason Garris takes the win. Brian Struble, 342.8. Jim Basinger, 341.57. That's going to round out your top three for the class. Thank you guys so much for watching this week. We're going to be back next Thursday with another episode of the Appalachian Outlaws Pooling Series.